Living abroad and being in an international relationship makes you think about your personality. Do I act this way because that's just who I am? Or do I act this way because I was influenced by the country I grew up in? Hello everyone. Today I have a cultural differences vlog for you. As you may know, my boyfriend is American and we live in Japan. So a lot of different cultures going on here. This, over the years, made me question my personality, if I may say so. But without further ado, let's start. The first point is, Brian, my American boyfriend, sometimes, he tells me that my questions are too direct. Let's make a distinction first. I'm talking about an informal friend contest I'm not talking about business hmm. friends acquaintances even if I'm in a, an informal environment I noticed I don't know if this is just my experience but I noticed that in America and oh, in Japan oh my god yeah in Japan like phew, people try not to ask questions that might make you feel even slightly uncomfortable so in Japan people tend to talk about the weather food, video games, what did you do yesterday? They never ask personal questions. I feel like in Italy that's not always the case. Like once we establish that this is a friendly relationship and it's not business or anything else, I might ask you personal questions or questions that might make you feel a little uncomfortable. According to Brian, terribly uncomfortable. Sonia, why did you ask that? I don't know. I want to move the relationship to the next level or because I'm trying to get to know you better or because talking about the weather is boring so I want to talk about something more interesting. Is it because I'm Italian? Also, <laughs> I grew up in a place, I don't know if it's just my family, but I grew up in a place where when you're a kid it's okay to ask Who do you love more, mom or dad? Like, no! <laughs> the second point is, I'm not good at business. Not because I'm not hard working, I am very hard working. I don't have the wolf mentality. I'm not really good at talking about prices and making deals. I feel like I put too much heart in my business and also in America you hear that you can be anything you want to be you can do anything you want to do all the time in Italy you don't like I was not brought up that way the most common thing is if you're lucky you'll have a good job but it's possible that you won't be lucky and in that instance don't worry because life is so much more the focus of life in Italy is definitely not business it's more like family and relationships and your free time and maybe that's why I don't have that wolf mentality because in America it's more like if you really want it, you can achieve it is it because I'm Italian? point number three is my vision of love is too idealistic love love romantic love the power that moves the world blah 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 stuff like that yeah maybe that's true compared to japan where love is almost like a business i'm more like find the person you're comfortable with and you love and you want to spend the rest of your life with but also i come from a country where dante loved beatrice even after she died even though they never have physical contacts like never and they still loved her so much and he made her famous forever with his artwork like of course i believe in love is it because i'm italian point number four is <laughs> we talk about health and health issues too much yeah that's true i feel like we have a pretty good knowledge of the human body and diseases we're well informed in italy and i don't know if people are in america maybe but i know that my boyfriend brian if he has a stomach ache maybe it's not the stomach <laughs> he's not too used to distinguishing the stomach or the intestines he doesn't know he's just like something hurts in my torso or if he has a spot on his skin i'm always like oh my god there's a spot what can it be is it a mosquito bite is it a wart is it a something and i google it and i ask my friends and i ask my mom and we talk about it and brian's like i don't know it will disappear eventually it's all good is it because i'm italian because most of the people I know are just like me. That could be your hormones. Have you thought about your liver? Mm. And last but not least, point number five, I eat a lot, a lot. Compared to my American boyfriend, and even like the Americans, 
I've seen and definitely compared to the Japanese I can eat a lot Maybe I eat healthier food but the quantity Is it because I'm Italian? Maybe it's because in Italy social events revolve around food The Sunday lunch with your grandma A dinner with your friends Weddings! Oh my god, have you ever been to an Italian wedding? We eat for 4 5 straight hours 3 plates of pasta 2 main dishes Side dishes A buffet of sweets and desserts And not only weddings But yeah, we have a lot of training when it comes to eating So is it because I'm Italian? I hope you liked this video and leave a comment below Have you ever thought about these 5 points? Do you have anything else you want to add? Let me know. Bye!